Hi all. In this lecture, we will see how to set up a cluster on Google Cloud Platform (GCP). So, what are the steps? Step one is create account on Google Cloud Platform. Step two is create a new project, and step three is create a Spark cluster using DataProc. So, open the website cloud.google.com and click on the button Get Started for Free. On the next page, select your country, accept to the terms of service, and finally click the link Agree and Continue. On this page, click the button Try for Free. So again, we have to select our country, accept the terms of service, and finally continue. Click on the button Continue. On the next page, we have to provide customer information. Select account type as individual, tax information. Select tax status as a registered individual. Provide your name, provide your address, and also credit and debit card details. Don't worry, Google will not be charging anything from your account. So when you sign up for the service, you get three hundred dollars to spend on GCP over the next twelve months. So fill all the necessary details and submit the page. So guys, we have successfully created an account on Google Cloud Platform. Let us see how to create a new project now. So for that, we have to go to the console. So click on the button, go to console. This is my dashboard. From this dashboard, we have a drop-down Spark cluster. Just click the drop-down, and from here we can create a new project. Now, on this page, provide a project name. So I'm gonna say CCA one seven five cluster. And then finally click on create button. If you see the notification panel, our project is getting created in the background. This operation may take few minutes to get completed. Okay, the project has been created. Click the view link. So, guys, we have successfully created. A new project here. So, as you can see, the second step is also done. We have successfully created a new project in Google Cloud Platform. The final step is create a Spark cluster using DataProc utility. So, we have to find DataProc from the left navigation menu. So, let's go and see how to do that. Okay. So, from the left navigation menu, find DataProc and click on. Clusters. We have to provide some configuration here, but first of all, we have to click on the option Create Cluster. So, on this page, first of all, provide your cluster name. So, I'm gonna say CCA one seven five cluster. The next thing that we have to do is cluster mode. So we have to select single node cluster, that is one master and zero worker. Third change is we have to select the machine type. So I'm going to select N1 standard eight, that is eight virtual core CPU and thirty GB of memory. Click the checkbox, enable access to the web interfaces, and go to advanced option because we have to change the image as well. In CCA one seven five, we have we have to work with Spark two dot four, so we have to change the image here, data proc image. Now the first option says Hadoop two dot ten Spark two dot four, and click this. Okay, finally, leave all other options as it is and click on the Create button. So the cluster is getting created in the background. Again, this operation may take few minutes to complete. So, guys, what is happening in the background? A virtual machine is getting created, and I'll tell you how to access the virtual machine as well. Now, open the cluster. So these are the cluster details. As you can see, several tabs here. This tab is the monitoring tab in which we can see YAN memory and YAN pending memory. But as of now, we have to go to VM instances tab. 
Now, this is the virtual machine that was getting created in the background when we created our cluster. And on the right, you can see SSH link which can be used to open the console. We will do that in upcoming sections. So guys, the third step is also done. We have created a Spark cluster using Dataproc successfully. Thank you.